Dude, we're going to turn now to one of the most beloved <laughs> players in New York Knicks history, a fan favorite whose impact on the team is undeniable. Charles Oakley is known for his incredible 19-year <laughs> career as one of the best rebounders in NBA history. Yeah, he's sharing now unfiltered stories from on and off the court. He has a new tell-all. Are you really telling all NBA legend and author of The Last Enforcer, Charles Oakley? Young fella, it is good to see you here. The book is called The Last Enforcer. Let me start there. Were you the last of your kind on the court? Do you watch the game today and see any guy say, yeah, that was, he, he's kind of like I was? Uh, yes, I do watch the game, but it's, it's, it's not about enforcing no more. It's just all finesse. So uh, <laughs> I, I was the last enforcer. Oh, wow. <laughs> finesse. You know, <laughs> maybe your next book will be called uh, the, the New Finesse Guy. But you, you don't see, do you, do you think you would have made it? How would you have made it in this NBA with the calls and the changes to the rules and whatnot? I think it would be it would be more easy to play in this area because it's not hard. It's just a lot of pick and roll, shooting a lot of threes, and just a lot of running them down court. And I always say in shape, so I think I, I could have played in this area. Yeah, all right. And, and Charles, you really do tell all in this book, and you talk about the uh, tumultuous relationship with Knicks owner James Dolan. You talk about how you were dragged out. You never have returned to MSG since then, but you're still rooting for the Knicks from what I understand. Um, yeah. What is that relationship like now with the owners, and where do you stand on retiring your jersey? Well, in the book, it's, it's, it talk a lot about, uh, you know, we we just haven't got nothing set in stones yet. Uh, we're still in court. Hopefully that uh, we can end this one day, come back to the garden. But the fans I love in the city of New York, you know, where I, you know played for 10 years, sweating tears and left on the court. Uh, the city is the city. Uh, you know, the team playing better, but uh, they still need more work to be done there. And, and you really try to set the record straight in this book. Uh, obviously, you had a lot of rivalries. There were some ups and downs uh, while you were playing. You got a bit of a bad rap for uh, fighting all of the time. <laughs> How has this book uh, served for you as a way to clear up some of what you call misconceptions about you? Who is the real Charles Oakley? <laughs> well, in the book, that's what I really try to show people how I was brought up how I help protect people in, with, in life and how did I give, how I gave back over the past, you know, 30, 40 years to make people better. And this book explains all of that. And it's, it's a good, easy reading book, a lot of stories. It's really a lot of fun in this book. So I want people to see a different side of me. Who knew? The Enforcer. He's just a, he's just a big old teddy bear. Yeah. Hey, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Charles, you have got fans uh, all over, including uh, many who are sitting on this set and are in this studio right now. Man, it was always a joy to watch you. So congrats. Hope all that mess gets worked out. Uh, and we see you back at Thank the garden you. sooner than later. Okay, man? Thank you. And uh, keep promoting that book. It's a love, it's a, it's a love book. It's a love book. Look, all right then. It's folks, The Enforcer. We want everybody to know The Last Enforcer. It is available everywhere that books are sold. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.